No one in the senior retirement home had ever seen anything like that. The elderly home's peace and quiet was shattered when a patrol of officers ran up the stairs, stomping their boots. Staff and residents gathered under the stairs, wondering what was happening. One nurse recorded on her phone. Everyone heard screams. The media has been outraged by this story and debated how we treat the elderly. Some people believe it's a regrettable exhibition of brutality and lack of compassion, while others think the situation is more nuanced. After reading about this 93-year-old woman's encounter with law enforcement, you decide. Juanita Fitzgerald is a 93-year-old woman from Tennessee who has been living in a retirement home in Eustis, Florida, for the last 10 years. Senior retirement communities are ideal for those who want to spend their golden years independently but with peers and trained staff. Gold isn't everything. This environment can also cause conflicts. Juanita Fitzgerald's Lake County Police Department arrest shattered the nursing home's peace. Only a few retirees knew about it. Now that the reasons are public, it's being debated whether it was fair or unfair. The retirement community staff and residents knew Juanita was a loner. She never saw her family in all her years there, and she didn't like them. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. Senias weren't her friends either. Her staff relationship was odd. She usually treated nursing home staff politely. She threw tantrums and was rude when things didn't go her way. Episodes usually last a few hours. Juanita's personality was familiar to the staff, so she never caused major issues. Until then. Juanita complained more one day. She suddenly complained about everything at the retirement home. The staff wondered what caused Juanita's sudden mood change. Now her fits lasted weeks. She mostly complained about one thing. Mold on her room's walls made it unlivable, she said. Juanita would rant about how mold was ruining her life whenever a nurse entered her room. The room's walls were mold-free after a professional inspection. After telling Juanita, things worsened. The professional's report didn't satisfy her. At this point, Juanita and the retirement home staff give different versions of the story, making it unclear. Staff said Juanita unilaterally stopped paying rent. Her explanation was even crazier. Juanita said she didn't have much time left, so she wouldn't pay rent because she could die at any moment. Juanita's account differs. She claimed the retirement home manager arbitrarily evicted her and took her money despite her rent payments. This disagreement ended horribly. Police arrived at the senior's home one day. The shocked residents watched as a patrol of officers entered the retirement community and climbed the stairs. Everyone heard the screams and shrieks. Juanita yelled at the officers to let her go as they descended the stairs a minute later. They drove her to the station. The 93-year-old woman was soon seen handcuffed and crying at the police station, pleading for her release. According to reports, the officers tried to get her to pack up and leave after the caretakers evicted her. She refused. The officers said they had to hold her and take her out of the retirement home. Juanita spent several days in jail after the incident. Law enforcement's treatment of the elderly woman has outraged the media. Reports have added some details. There's more to this case than initially appeared. Juanita said the retirement home offered to find her a new home before the police were called. She wouldn't move. Juanita was released and moved to Tavares. She refuses help despite barely being able to support herself. Juanita only misses her Bible from her retirement community room. I might buy more clothes. This isn't for me. For God, she said. When the body cam footage from the police arresting Juanita made its way onto social media, it sparked a public outcry and became the topic of heated debates on Reddit and Facebook. Most netizens agreed that Juanita should have paid her rent, but the police's handling of the situation drew criticism. Damn it. Why can't police ignore the law and selectively enforce it according to their personal beliefs? What's going on? Redditor wrote. Juanita's bruised arms went viral after the police mistreated a senior citizen. 
Wineater was arrested two days before her 94th birthday, adding insult to injury. The police defended their arrest of her in a statement. Since Miss Fitzgerald, who appeared to have the mental capacity to form and make her own decisions, refused all available options, the officers had no alternative but to take Fitzgerald into custody, the statement said. Wineater lived at Franklin House since 2011. Was the 93-year physical olds detention necessary? The incident appalled Karen Twynem of National Church Residences, which runs the facility. Rare. We try to find people places, she said. She repeated that the facility had repeatedly tried to help Juanita before things escalated. They also informed her family of her eviction. Nobody. She told her family in Tennessee not to tell her son anything. Juanita has a 70-year-old daughter and a 76-year-old son, who, as she said, live in Tennessee. But, she said that her children have their own health issues to deal with, and she doesn't want to worry them or get them involved. Wineater screams and resists arrest in disturbing police body cam footage. She slid out of her wheelchair and onto the ground to make arresting her harder. Wineater screamed, ow, you're hurting me, several times in the video. Considering she owed $161, it's hard to watch. It's not okay to not pay your rent at 94 because you can't, but it's totally fine to avoid billions and billions of taxes. One dismayed Reddit user wrote, Welcome to humanity, sparking a heated debate. Some agreed, but others were less sympathetic to Juanita's situation after learning the other side. Except this woman could pay rent but refused. Another Reddit user claimed that she was evicted and refused to cooperate with police. She then turned down multiple housing offers. What would you have done? She gets to live rent-free wherever she wants and the actual owners of the place just have to suck it up until she dies because she's old, continue. Many global issues illustrate your concerns. This old bat isn't one. Franklin House is a public housing complex. The first user replied with a capitalist society issue that got everyone thinking. I think Jeff Bezos, Donald Trump, Elon Musk, Apple, and the list goes on can pay their taxes and pay much more than they are used to without even knowing it, but they don't. The Redditor replied, and they don't go to prison. Many thought Juanita's story showed how modern society treats the ultra-rich like royalty and the poor and vulnerable like second-class citizens. America, land of the free, as long as you are rich enough to pay for it, another user agreed. I hope I don't live past 80. The debate moved from ultra-rich to law enforcement. The officer's treatment of the five-foot-tall, 100-pound elderly woman shocked most. Does anyone need more proof that most American police officers are sociopaths and sadists? They put this extraordinarily elderly and helpless woman in handcuffs, because they enjoy causing pain, one Redditor wrote. Wineater's community helped her while society debated and raged on Reddit. Wineater's disturbing arrest footage and photos of her massive purple bruises went viral worldwide. Bad reviews flooded Franklin House's page. Several people came forward to offer her donations, others offered to pay her $500 bond, and a few set up GoFundMe accounts to raise money for her so she can pay for a permanent residence. Nicolette, who helped Wineater get out of jail and find a motel, said Wineater had always been fiercely independent. I just couldn't let her stay in jail, Nicole said. She's 94 and still feisty. She wants to be independent. Unfortunately, she needs help now because she has nothing. Wineater shouted, they are going to Baker Act Me, at her exasperated caseworkers. Erica Wilson, a livestream homeless specialist helping Wineater, said, given her age, and her stress, we're going to step back for a couple days. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.